My name is Scott Waters. I am the pilot of Pisces 6 submarine. And right now we're inside the cockpit of Pisces 6. When I'm controlling the submarine, I'm using this here, this uh, joystick. And it's very simple of just forward and backward and turn left, turn right, or up and down. However, if we're wanting to adjust our ballast, that's the thing that actually makes us float or sink. We have this system here, and this is our main ballast system. This is the huge amounts of air that go into the tank that allow the submarine to float very securely on the surface. And then we have the variable ballast system here, and the variable ballast system is for when we take samples and put them on the tray, and we have a slight difference in buoyancy, we can adjust those small amounts. We have the emergency life support system, which is all right here. And that's in case we need to stand our water for an extended period of time. And we have up to 120 hours of life support for three people. This is how we control the manipulator. And when I'm doing that, I turn around and look very closely through this viewport and uh, focus on the manipulator and the samples that I'm taking or the tools and instruments that I'm using. So on the Pisces submarine uh, for this mission, we're using a 4K camera here. And underneath it, it has a laser scaler that actually sends two laser dots 10 centimeters apart so we can tell how big something is underwater. These are push cores. We use them to take sediment samples and cores of the ocean floor in order to bring back those samples for the scientists. Then uh, we have these uh, bio boxes, and these are what we actually put the samples in and it protects the temperature and from uh, any disturbance when we bring the samples back to the surface. 